What's going on everyone? Welcome to WWE All-Stars. So in this video, we're gonna be playing the whole Path of Champions Legends portion of this mode. Let's get into it. So the first thing we have to do is pick our character that we're gonna play as, and I think in this one, I'm going to run as the rock. There he is. <laughs> this is creepy. Welcome to the dark days of the WWE. You have made a fatal mistake. Seeking to challenge me. I do not make mistakes. I bury her. At SummerSlam, the final sound you will hear is the hounds of hell baying for your soul. Jeez. Are you ready? Are you ready to face my Undertaker? Rest in peace. Nice. Now, I'll be fully honest with you guys, because I'm transparent. I don't remember how to play this game, and I'll be 100% honest with you. I did not play a warm-up match. I'm just rolling right into it. We're going to figure this out as we go. I see that L1 is reversal, so I've now figured that part out. And, you know, it's a wrestling game. I mean, when you've played wrestling games for 100 years at this point, they all just kind of blend together at some point. Spine Buster! I think I just heard the fans chant, kick his butt. <laughs> I love it. Going up top! Oh, I didn't think he was going to jump that far. I have to remember that this is not... Like WW2K24, and they can actually jump all the way across the ring. Oh, okay. Triangle like punches them like in the air. Okay, that's good to know. Oh, oh my gosh. Jeez. Are you okay, Rock? Are you okay? That did not look very comfortable. Oh no. What is happening? What is happening? Oh, we have our finisher. We have our finisher. Let's go. Oh no, what is happening? Rock bottom, yes! Rock bottom! Oh my god, it's rock bottom almost through the mat. Ah, oh, I forgot how to pin. Bruh. Okay, L2, L2, L2. One. Oh, it's over! It's over, it's over, it's over, okay. I thought he might have kicked out for a second there. I wasn't quite understanding that one, but we got the win. One win down. I think 10 matches total. So one down, nine to go. This game is so much fun, though. It is aged beautifully. So smooth, man. It's a lot of fun. Let's keep it going. Can I just say, these entrances look awesome. Like, they look so good. The SmackDown Arena looks great, too, by the way, with the giant fist in the back. But these entrances look really, really great. They're like super quick, like between like 20 and 30 seconds, but they look fantastic. All right, third time trying this match. This match is hard. I'll just say that. This match is hard because the computer kind of just goes after you for the most part. At least they have the first two times I've played. For some reason, they don't really fight each other. This time they kind of are, so hopefully that's a good sign. And it's hard to pin anybody in this, so I'm just going to go for eliminations at this point. Because you can KO them. Because pinfalls are too hard. They're just too hard. I'm locked in in this match, though. I'm locked in. Because now I'm all annoyed. Three times, I'm a little annoyed. So now I'm all locked in. I'm not messing around with these boys anymore. It's some final boss type stuff right now. Because of the fact that the teaming up 
stuff was just kind of annoying me. Like, they were literally not fighting each other the first two times I played this. Look at them. They're just standing next to each other. But I'm in final boss mode now. Like, Eddie Guerrero and Jimmy Snuka before the match had some sort of allegiance in place. That's why y'all both just got kneed in the damn mouth. Because they are standing next to each other, not fighting one another, to team up against me. I mean, dude, look at this. Look at this. Look at them. They literally won't fight each other. They just chase me around like crazy. That's why you missed. Look at this. They just chase me around. It's like playing tag. Fight each other. Fight each other. Finally. Jeez. I have the rock bottom. I'm about to rock bottom. Eddie Guerrero. Rock bottom. Okay, he's almost KO'd at this point. Which is good. I could technically try to go for a pin if I could find a sliver of time to do it. Between this handicap match that I'm basically in right now. I'm going to let them pin. It's an elimination match. Okay. 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 This is looking a lot better than the first two times I played this. Boy, get the hell out of my face with that nonsense, boy. Put him all the way across the ring like that. Boom! Let's go. Pin him. Or not. They get up so fast, man, it's hard to pin. You kind of just got to go for the KO, which is fine. All right, here we go. Rock bottom. I think this is the match. Let's go. God, man, that match was hard, dude. That match was legitimately, like, hard. Look at that. I had to fight a five-star match to win that. A five-star match almost in every aspect of that one. Another elimination match. I'm not even going to lie to you. When I saw that, I almost threw my damn controller out the window. But nonetheless, we're here. <sighs> All right. As long as I don't get teamed up on, I'm fine. I just didn't like the team up aspect. Now that we have an even number of people in the ring, I think it'll be a lot better. Don't start. Don't start with this teaming up nonsense. Look at this. The computer won't hit each other. Look at this. They won't hit each other. I'm going outside the ring. They will not hit each other. Look at Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels. They finally hit each other. I got to like go out of the ring for a little bit, I think, and let the computer kind of do their thing. Because I think if you get in like their way, they don't really know what to do. So I'm going to go outside the ring, fight Macho Man for a little bit, let the computer kind of fight inside the ring. Because I can't do another handicap match, basically. All right, I think this is going to KO Brett. No? Maybe KOs aren't on in this match. One, I don't think KOs are on because that should have done it. All right, that's fine. Bret Hart's out. Again, I don't want this to be a situation where I'm teamed up on. Let these guys go at it for a minute out there. I'm cool with it. No, fight each other. There's somebody standing right in front of you trying to beat you up, and you are too busy over here trying to get on me. For what? Okay, pinfall. I'll take that. Oh, let's go. Okay, that worked out nice. No, hit him with the... Oh, my guys had the rock bottom, and he refused to do it. What the heck, man? All right, we're down to two. Shawn Michaels in the rock. Hit him with this nasty belly to belly. Come on, man. We have the rock bottom. We have it. Get in the ring. Get in the ring. Get in the ring. Get in the ring. Rock bottom time. Rock bottom time. Rock bottom time. Let's go. No, stop going to the outside of the ring. I don't like the fact that that button does two different things. Because when you're by the rope, it's, it's kind of trying to... It's confusing the game a little bit. All right, let's hit this move as well. Why not? Pin him. Just pin him wise down, please. All right, that should be enough, I hope. Maybe? Is it enough? Okay, that one took one try. I promise that one actually took one try. The last one did not take one try. But that one actually only took one, so I will take it. All right, Ultimate Warrior time. Seven matches left. We finally get another 1v1 match, which I am very, very happy about. I'm sure Ultimate Warrior is not going to be easy, but I'm happy about it just being one-on-one, -on -one, honestly. And now I feel like since I've played those couple matches, I got, like, the controls and everything down now. I kind of know what works and what doesn't. So hopefully this gets a little bit cleaner because some of these matches have been a little rough. I'm not even going to lie. Look at, that re look at that camera angle, man. I just love that. This game... Honestly, this game holds up so well in 2024, and it plays fantastic. Still super smooth. Graphics are nice. It's a lot of fun. I would recommend this to anybody. If you haven't played this game in a while, pick it back up. It's different than anything you can play right now, so that also adds to it for me. I was just thinking, I wonder if I can hit the people's elbow when he's down. And it looks like we can people's elbow let's go 
That was, dude, that was awesome. Let's try again to hit the rock bottom. He reversed my first one. I don't think he's going to quite get this one. Rock bottom. Let's pin him and end this match. Don't let us go outside the ring. Just pin him. Yep. Thank you. Are we going to get the three count here? Oh, wow. He kicked out. Okay. That's the first time I've had someone kick out of a finish move so far. Go for another pin after the spine buster. That got it done. That got it done. Okay, okay. That got it done. I was going to say, he was pretty much no health left. Okay, so that was the first time I've seen somebody kick out of the rock bottom. Ultimate Warrior definitely put up a pretty good fight, but again, we get the job done. Oh, is he sand in our castle? That's nice of him. Totally not creepy at all. Okay. It is another elimination match, folks. I am not happy about this, but we got to do what we got to do. We'll get through it. I've been through a couple of them at this point. I'm starting to figure them out, I guess. Damn, Jake Roberts just went on the top rope. Okay. All right, we got to get out of this. In case you're wondering, yes, they are teaming up on me again. It's not as bad as the last couple matches, though. They've actually been hitting each other a little bit, which I do appreciate very much. I'm about to hit somebody with a rock bottom right here. It's going to be Jake Roberts. One, two. Okay, that was pretty close. That was pretty close after the rock bottom one, Jake Roberts there. So, not too bad. We're in a pretty good spot. Like I said, I figured out this match a little bit, but it's still pretty tough, honestly. You gotta try and pin him before the computer like gets to you. I think that might do it. Oh my god, he just got the shoulder up. Okay. Oh yeah, we eyeing up. We eyeing up somebody. Who wants it? Oh no, I messed up my finisher. Oh my god, I totally failed that. What is wrong with me? How do you fail doing the rock bottom so bad, dude? All right, let's try to go for. Oh my god, I want to try to go for a pin. You gotta like spam that pin button and just hope you get it in, honestly, before. They come from behind you or something like that, and, and you're screwed. As we get Jake Roberts up. Okay, elimination, no. Oh, my God, he got right back up. Are you kidding me? Even though he has no health. And here they go. They've been fighting each other pretty much the whole match, but now, of course, they want to go after me. Everybody is on, like, pretty much no health right now. Finally, I didn't mess up the rock bottom. Finally, I did not mess up the rock bottom, and he is out. Roddy Piper is out. Oh, sharpshooter. Sharpshooters locked in, yes. Sharpshooters locked in. Come on, baby. You know you want to tap. Oh, that would have been awesome. I never got somebody to tap yet. That would have been pretty cool. Should I try and pin him after this? Should I just try and pin him? Okay. The answer to that is no. Okay, I spine bustered him. I'm going to try and pin him right here. Three count. Yes. Again, first try. Let's go. First try. Man, these elimination matches are going to take a, a couple years off of my life, man. They are... Whew, they're tough. They're tough. Yeah, my defense is not very good, I'll admit. I'm an offensive guy, you know? Final boss don't go on defense. We on the offense all the time. Screw that. They switched it up on us a little bit, so now we are at WrestleMania. And we are going up against Andre the Giant. So, okay. 
Bro, look, I am just picking up Andre the Giant like it's nothing right now. The funny part, too, is that I was thinking with some of these moves in this game, it's going to be hilarious seeing Andre the Giant getting thrown up and tossed around like he's like Rey Mysterio. Let's use one of those special moves right now. Let's kind of see this because this is going to be... Oh, okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Man, Andre's pretty tough. I'm not even going to lie. He reverses a lot of stuff. Probably the toughest person I've faced yet in a singles match. All right, let's try this now. Okay, here we go. This is what I want to see. Look at Andre the Giant doing like a 720 in the air with the rock. Man, Andre has been really tough though, honestly. He's been probably the toughest person I've faced yet in a singles match, but rock bottom on Andre the Giant. Okay, let's see if this is going to be enough to go for the pin and get the win. One... Oh, snap. Only a one count? Okay. Top rope. Oh, nice move there by The Rock. Let's go. We're going to hit the people's elbow right now. The most electrifying move in sports entertainment. The people's elbow. Should I go for the pin? I don't even know, honestly. Eh, I don't even have enough time for it. They never give you enough time to go for those pins. Thought we had... Okay, now we have our special move here. Let's try and hit this and see what happens. Hopefully we can. Let's go. Belly to belly. Suplex on Andre. I'm going to actually just try and go for the pin right here. We'll see if it's enough. I don't know. One, two. Wow. He got the shoulder up, man. Rock bottom number two on Andre the Giant. That'll do it. K.O. Four matches left. Sergeant Slaughter is next up. If y'all saw my WrestleMania vlog, I met Sergeant Slaughter at WrestleMania. He was super cool. Probably one of the coolest people I got to meet while I was there. And I got to meet a ton of really awesome people. So big ups to Sergeant Slaughter. Became much more of a fan of his after I met him, which is always nice. It's always nice when you meet somebody and you become more of a fan of them because they were cool rather than the other way around. So big ups to Sergeant Slaughter. He was cool and hopefully he's cool enough to let us win this match with a little bit of ease. But so far... He's taking it to us a little bit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. What in the heck? We just got thrown up in the air. Okay, we got to fight back a little bit. We're still okay. The matches are starting to get a little bit harder. I don't know if that's a thing where the further you go into it, if the matches are intentionally getting harder or what, but... I feel like the matches are definitely getting harder. They're reversing more. A little bit more back and forth than some of the matches in the beginning. So, definitely a little bit more of a challenge. Let's charge up for the rock bottom here. Hopefully we can hit it on Sergeant Slaughter. Let's go. A little bit of a rock bottom. I love, like, the gold with the rock bottom that they do. Man, it looks really, really cool. Don't know if this pinfall is going to be enough. Wow, only a one count. These matches are definitely getting... A little bit harder as it's going on for sure let's hit one more of these like 720 suplex 360 no scope whatever you want to call this move and that might honestly be enough i'm gonna try to pin him here it's gonna be close i think two yeah we got it three okay so it wasn't too bad definitely getting a little bit more challenging as the matches go on which i like though i like the fact that they're getting a little harder as you continue on but Pick up another win. I think we have three matches left, I believe. I think so. Okay, Stone Cold is super tough. He is doing push-ups on our body because it is that easy to beat us. I didn't get any moves in on him at all. I guess let's restart. That was... This one's going to be tough. Okay, attempt number two on Stone Cold. And hopefully this goes better than the first one because the first one... He just kind of kicked our butt. So hopefully this one will go a little bit smoother. It's already going better than the last time. The last time, I got like no moves in on him. He just took control of the match and didn't really let up. So hopefully this time around is not like that. This is also an Extreme Rules match. This is the first Extreme Rules match that I've had or any uh, match other than a regular one I've had in this. So I'm looking forward to that as he now has a steel chair, which isn't very good. And this is the same thing he did last time. He just kind of took this steel chair and just kind of whipped me around the ring with it a little bit. Right, I'm going to go over here and grab the ring bell. 
Because why not? Come on, Stone Cold. Let's go. You want a piece of this? Let's go. Ring bell right to your back, boy. Let's go. Ring bell right to your face. Okay, I like the ring bell. My favorite weapon I've used so far. I like it. All right, let's try hit the rock bottom on him right now. Let's see if we can do it. Yes, 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 rock bottom. Let's go. Oh, we KO'd him. Let's go. I didn't even notice he was that low. Okay, that one was a lot better than the last one. The first one was pretty tough, but that one was a lot easier, honestly. Two matches left, and the last one, obviously, no was against The Undertaker. So this one is against Hulk Hogan inside a steel cage. I like the fact that they put some variety on these matches at the end. So you're not just playing the same thing over and over. So with the steel cage match, you have to climb up to the top, and then there's like a little mini game up there. And you have to hit X or something at a certain point to get out. So hopefully we can do that. I'm usually okay with those. But in this game, your opponents don't stay down very long. So that's the one thing I'm kind of interested to see how it goes. Because you obviously need time to get up to the top of the cell and climb it and get out. All right, so we're going to hit this move right here. And then I'm going to try to climb up to the top of the cell and see, like, how high can we even get? Or can we do anything when we get up there? Let's see. So we're going to try to climb up to the top. Now you have this mini game. You got to get it five times. And if you get it wrong, you go back to the other side. Then you got to try again. So, but it does save when you're up there. So now we have one star. We only have four left the next time we climb up to the top. So it's not terrible. I have the rock bottom. Let's try and hit the rock bottom and then climb up to the top. Hopefully this gives us enough time. Like I said, there's not really much like selling in this game. So you don't have like a ton of time to do anything but he's down at least for a little bit so let's climb up here hopefully we don't screw this up oh my god i screwed it up <laughs> to absolutely nobody's surprise i immediately screw that up the mini game's actually harder than it looks for some reason one more and we got it okay okay so i guess they do sell long enough when you hit your finish that it gives you time to climb up on top of the steel cage and they don't like grab you right away either they kind of let you do your thing a little bit so that is it nine matches down one remaining against the undertaker Just in time for your final day on Earth. You're scared. Oh, yes, I can see it in your eyes. You, my friend, are scared of the great beyond. But the end comes for you tonight, as it comes for everyone. Everyone except my Undertaker! From the moment you chose to challenge me at SummerSlam, your days were numbered. Now your end is here. Do not fear the end. Pray for it. For it is inevitable. Tonight, I will reach in your chest. Tear your soul from your body and cast it into the abyss. And then Damn. I shall place your That's all? Jesus. Oh, that's all? Damn. Gonna take our soul out of our body? Throw the remains in the casket? Jeez. There he is. The Phenom himself. We had to get through nine different superstars. Well, actually more than that, but nine matches. Probably like 15 superstars total to get to this point. But we have finally made it to SummerSlam to challenge the dead man. Kind of sad this is it, but luckily there's two more after this. There's still the one with Randy Orton and the one with DX. So I'm not too upset, but this is it. The main event of this one. We are at SummerSlam facing The Undertaker. I assume this match is going to be hard. Hopefully, I can get it done on the first try. If not, I'm going to be upset. So far, he has reversed every move that I've done. Every, like, grapple move that I've done. So, I'm going to stick with my plan of just trying to hit him with some attacks as he goes to the outside. Let's go. 
Try to hit him with just some quick attacks early, quick strikes, get his health down a little bit, and then go for the grapples. Because it seems like if you try and go for him early, especially the big grapples, they do kind of reverse him. So I'll stick to my game plan. You see reverse is another one there. So I'll stick to my game plan. Quick punches early in the match, get the health down some, and then go for the big attacks later on. All right, we're going to go for the Pile Drive Suplex 360 720 split number two on Undertaker. And so far, honestly, this match hasn't been too bad. I thought it was going to be a little bit more challenging. But right now, we're kind of taking it to Undertaker. We're going to hit him with a rock bottom right here. This stuff is easy, man. I thought this was going to be a challenge. All that stuff Undertaker was talking about putting our, our soul in a casket, throwing our remains or taking our soul out of our body and throwing the remains in the casket. Excuse me. Got the vulgar parts a little bit wrong, but that's what he talked about doing to us. And he was just all talk. He was just all talk. He's like that. He's like that girl in your DMs who's talking about doing all that crazy stuff. And then she gets there and she don't do nothing. That's Undertaker. He was talking all that stuff. And then he got here and he's just getting his candy ass whooped courtesy of the final boss. Oh no! No choke slam! No choke slam! Well, damn. That was a choke slam and a half right there. Okay, luckily he didn't go for a pin on us, but our health is getting a little bit worse. And like I said, with these boss type of battles, anything can happen. He's starting to reverse all our moves again. I got a little bit too cocky. We just have to finish this. Oh, nice spine buster right there. Okay, again, we have the rock bottom. Just go for it right here. Rock bottom. Let's go. One more time for the people. Oh, it's a KO. Okay, I wanted to hit the people's elbow, but we KO the Undertaker after he said he was going to take our soul from our body, throw our carcass in a casket, and all that other junk he was talking. We just came in and whooped him a little bit, honestly. Got it done. Oh, there it is. Our World Heavyweight Championship. And there is the casket. Put him in it. We are hype, dude. Look at this. The Rock is hype. World Heavyweight Champion. But you should have put him in the casket. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all of this support on all the videos. Let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on WWE All-Stars. If you enjoyed this game and if you enjoyed this episode. And if you'd like to see more Path of Champions and more WWE All-Stars down the road. Thank you all again so much for watching. I appreciate it as always. And I will see you all in the next video.